actually before this I uh, put my black latex gloves on because it's gonna get like everywhere. I'm gonna fill up. I kinda lost all the footage of. <laughs> professional products like the one I use which is L'Oreal's um, more professional line called Majorelle and I'm using 4, 4N so these kind of like not the box dye sets but like the more professional line of products can be a little bit intimidating in the beginning so I figured like this week I'm gonna give like a step-by-step -step tutorial for all the girls out there to like get the professional result with if you're dyeing your hair. Uh, in my case, I like, so I have, this is pretty much my natural hair color, which is like dark brown, almost black. And um, I'm not trying to change my hair color. What I'm trying to achieve is like, I occasionally get like gray hair here and there. and. If you are totally rocking it, um, great for you. I just personally, because my hair is so dark, if I have just a few gray hair, which is my case, it's just like not even blending in and like it looks very noticeable, just a few gray hairs. So I'd like to um, just keep uh, catching up with my dark hair and just dyeing them until I have different ideas about how to style my hair. So that's what I'll do tonight. So the things you'll need are the hair dye, actual hair dye. I recommend the L'Oreal Majorelle products. They turn out really good and they don't damage your hair that much, which I really love about them. And this is so, the bottle's so dirty because of all the dyes that got onto the bottle because I'm like, I'm using it while I'm like, you know, mixing the dye and everything. This is, um, Developer. And I bought 9%. Um, and other things, you'll need Vaseline. You'll need Vaseline. And I also have a mixing bowl and a good brush. I did invest in the brush. I mean, it wasn't like very expensive or anything, but I didn't also buy the cheapest one because like, like just like makeup brushes, like you need decent tools to um, get the best results. Since we're not going to salons and trying to like get it done at home, you need some decent tools. I'll uh, link down below which um, brush and mixing bowls and even the um, dye product I bought and I even like to be very exact about like the mixing like proportions and everything I have some measuring uh, spoons too on top of that you may need some of these like pins to just like when you're done with this section, you pin them and then like work on the under layer. So like you will need these kind of like salon like hair pins. And then and then you need something to like cover. And I usually this is a secret, but like I don't wear anything underneath when I'm like dyeing my hair other than that just this because I don't want the hair hair dye to get on anything. So that's my secret. And let the process. First of all, I'm gonna apply the Vaseline um, along my uh, hairline. So the purpose of applying the Vaseline is to um, prevent the dye getting on your face. Cause trust me, I've done it before, and that dye stain stays like for a good week so that's not fun and you may like forget about like don't just put it around like facial hairline 
but also put it like around the ears too because like it's gonna get there so apply like behind the ears because um, you are going to be applying the hair dye like everywhere where your hair is so if that's done now it's time to usually before this I uh, put my black latex gloves on because it's gonna get like everywhere so let me take my latex gloves on I use black ones let me see I mean it doesn't matter you can use whatever latex gloves I don't know maybe I chose it for I don't know aesthetic reasons but yeah so I put them on and then now it's time to mix dye and the developer. So the rule is, and I've looked into it, I'm using, like I said, 9% um, developer and the ratio should be 6 to 10. So this entire thing is 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter. Uh, that being said, I have to put um, 80 millimeter. So this cup, measuring cup, is 80 millimeter. So I put this entire thing in the mixing bowl, and then I put 80 millimeter of developer in the bowl, and I mix them with my brush, and then apply them uh, with my brush too. So that's what we're doing. And I have long hair too, so like I use the entire uh, tube. I guess if you're like if your hair is like short, maybe you can use less. I am not hundred percent sure though. Like once you open the tube, like you can continue use using it like at a later occasion. I didn't do my research to look that up, um, but. Yeah, I'm kind of curious now. I'll put the developer in this measuring cup. So I'm gonna fill up this measuring cup, oh no. So that it's like exactly 80 millimeter. And I'm like mixing them in the right ratio so that it works best. I have a bowl of both products um, poured in. Now I'm mixing them. The key is to really mix them like thoroughly. Hi, so I just realized that um, I kind of lost all the footage of like where I actually applied the mix of the uh, developer and the ha hair dye so I'm just gonna and actually you can see like I already washed uh, my hair after the dye with shampoo and conditioner so I'm just gonna explain step by step what I did afterwards so as you saw in the previous footage I mixed the hair dye and developer in the bowl in the ratio of 2 to 3 developer being 3 and then I applied with my uh, brush. So what you basically do is like, I would like apply here, one layer, and then pin it up, pin this way, and then apply here. So I would continue doing it that side, that way, and then continue on this side, doing in the same way. Like pin it up, uh, apply the dye, pin it up, and then when like the entire um, hair is like covered, I would uh, use the remaining hair dye and I'll put it on the brush and just like go all over like so that I'm not missing any part of the hair. And then when that's done, I usually wait for 20 minutes and then I wash my hair. The trick is not to wait too short or too long. If you wait too short, your hair dye color will, won't go thoroughly through. So you'll have like an imperfect result. But if you wait too long, that might uh, over dye your hair if you're going lighter or something. Also, it will damage your scalp and your hair too much. So 
I wait usually 20 to max 30 minutes and then wash my hair. Now, one critical rule of washing your hair after your hair dye, especially using those um, professional level of hair dyes, is that it is no matter how good the product is, it's gonna still damage your hair. So you have to put almost twice, three times more amount of the conditional you conditioner you would usually use. So I would go like a light shampooing, like really pure shampoo, which is like literally the name of the shampoo that I use on daily basis, Shampure by Avida. Avida. Yes, Avida. Um, I would wash my hair with this. Uh, and then this is actually what I use on a daily basis. It's definitely like a luxurious item to use on a daily basis because I can go through this pretty quickly, probably two weeks. Um, and this is like 50, 60 bucks. So I do uh, invest in good products for my hair, but I don't go to salon very often. I'll go probably once max twice a year because I take care of my own hair and like styling and everything. Um, so this, I usually like always use it as a conditioner but like after hair dyeing I would use it like twice the amount which will be like this much on my palm and then I would make sure to like it goes through not only the tip of the hair but like like good like from here down. So like it's not touching the scalp because you're not supposed to put like a conditioner type of hair products on your scalp but like right below all thoroughly and I let it like soak in for like five minutes and then rinse it off. And then after washing it off I would before going to bed I would apply this from like where my curls are, so like I would start from, so usually I apply this on my palm, I would go in the direction of my curls, I'll show you like like this way, so that like the product like naturally goes in like along the curls and then let it soak throughout the night. Well thank you for watching, I hope that step by step tutorial of my um, hair dye technique at home at a salon quality uh, was helpful for you and I'll be here for any questions and um, I'll meet you in the next video which I'm gonna talk about my all hair care routine. Thank you!